talking with Leslie Chong and Dr. Paul Woodard this morning from Imugen. Leslie, Paul, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Andrew. Hey, look, Leslie, firstly, big achievement you've announced this morning here. Far, uh, FDA fast track designation granted for bile duct cancer for your vaccinia masked clinical trial. Uh, big milestone for Imugen. Oh, it's huge. I mean, this is at the back of announcing our first uh, data set um, that we were able to talk about just very recently, um, two weeks ago, when Dr. Woodard was actually in Australia. And then today, we have received from the FDA a written approval of our fast track. So it's significant and it's wonderful news. Well, Dr. Woodard, give us a bit of detail. Why is this significant? What does it mean? It's important because it gives you more frequent interactions with the FDA. So you can talk to them more, you get more frequent um, written communication with them. It makes you potentially eligible for an accelerated approval and a priority review. It um, also allows you to pursue something called a rolling review where you can submit portions of your application one at a time rather than waiting until everything is all together. So it's, a, it's an exciting opportunity, we think. And Dr. Woodard, why, why the initial focus here on bile duct cancer? We've seen activity. So we have a patient with a complete response who's been on study for more than a year. And we have another patient with stable disease for going on six months now. So that's very encouraging. Leslie, what are the upcoming milestones we should be looking out for from this trial moving forward? Well. The study is just a giver of, and it's very generous with data. Um, you know, uh, I just want to remind everyone, this is a study looking after multiple tumor types. And the fact that the two bile duct cancers that we enrolled out of, you know, however many that we've enrolled so far, 36, 37, and to see both respond um, so positively, I think speaks to how well our vaccinia virus is working uh, in these cancer types and the fact that the FDA recognizes us and the accelerated you know, potential um, expediting our study into bile duct. Um, so it's, it's wonderful news that we've got the FDA attention and also for folks who are suffering from bile duct cancers or cholangio cancers, we might have an alternative therapy for them. So. All of that is wonderful news, and I'm sure we will come back with more news uh, very soon. And this study is happening in the U.S. and Australia, is it? That's right. So Dr. Woodrow was also able to visit with some of our Australian sites who were quite excited about what's happening with the study. So perhaps we'll add further Australian sites to the study, along with um, Azer cell, our cellular therapy, and blood cancers as well. So we've got... Australian sites wanted to come up, come on to our study because of the results that we're seeing. Um, we've also been invited to speak at JP Morgan, which is happening in the US. It's the, the major conference for investors in biotech and pharma. So I'm delighted that uh, we'll be speaking at JP Morgan this year yet again. Um, so a lot of things coming up for Vaccinia, Azer Cell, as well as Oncarlytics in 2024. Well, Dr. Woodard, given it's the first time you and I have spoken, what is it about Imugene and its technology that gives you the most excitement and enthusiasm? Well, we have two very novel drugs. So we have the first, potentially first, allogeneic CAR T cell for patients with a certain kind of lymphoma. And then we have a very exciting oncolytic virus. So these are viruses that only reproduce in tumor cells and they kill the tumor cells when they do so. And we have oncolytics, which hopefully is going to be the way we pr we combine both of them. And I should also say we have a very good team to work with, including Leslie. So. <laughs> good to see you both. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you.